guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Bring Squad episode 19 <laughs> of So a Spider So What. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> well, honey, you, <laughs> you, you know, you saved one, and I'm guessing she went back into town and told everyone, and now look. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> huh? Think of Oh my god. Yeah, you was Futaba then, and you still Futaba. If only we had someone who could speak spider. <laughs> Poor baby. I don't know why, but I kind of want like a whole episode just on Sophia for some weird reason. I mean, yeah, you gave me a little bit of her backstory, but like, I just, I don't know why. I think it's because I like her a lot and, I, you know, she's a very interesting character. And then, you know, plus that kill she made. I mean, you know, you make a kill like that, you were badass bitch in my book. You, not only that, you probably, you know, not only best girl, you mm, one of my faves, like, bitch. <laughs> I'm just saying, but at the same time, um, what I do also want to see in today's episode is, like, again, the elves trying to make a second attempt in kidnapping her, and maybe, like, instead of them trying during the night, they try during the day, and because, it, it, honestly, it's a perfect time for them to do it because Wakaba is busy with all these other people she can't help them and try to save her at the same time she has to choose one over the other but knowing her she's still going to choose baby Sophia over like <laughs> oogles and oogles of people because it's what she does even though she is a loner hmm? oh Shit. Uh oh. Mm. But you can trust them. They're not going to do anything. Oh my god. Oh. Didn't you die? Yeah. Um, Sophia's going to be mad, but <laughs> that's okay. We ain't going to tell her.
Oh. Yeah, but you know, Lockup is not going to be there though. I wonder who is going to be there. I get that because yeah, he seems a little fishy. Well, at least she found her friends. She's acting a little suspicious still. Not even a little highly suspicious. Hmm. 
No, I I think it's something else. Yes, you're distracted by you know, the beauty that she is now, but <laughs> huh? Well, damn. So that's what she meant. Okay, but what if you guys try to escape? Will they kill you if they find you? I mean, you're basically all slaves. Yeah. Yeah, because walk over the sofa and ain't dead. You know what I want to ask, and, and this has been on my mind kind of really ever since the beginning of this series, and especially with the abilities that Wakaba gets. Since um, Faye can now transform into a human, is it a possibility that Wakaba herself could also transform into a human with still having her powers? Like, maybe that happens later on in the series, like in the books, maybe? You again. Of the child? Oh, lock about. No, he got your eyes on you.
Now, okay. I'm going to be a little stupid right now and ask this. Is he also reincarnated into someone else? Because of the fact is that he knows about the reincarnations? And here she fucking come. Oh, God. <laughs> she been planning this oh my god oh I mean damn Damn. <sighs> I still can't with the sensors. <laughs> I get it, you know, having a head cut off and you don't want to see the guys. <laughs> This is not like a black dot cuz <laughs> oh, god I I can't imagine if they did that with the show <laughs> Oh my god.
Yeah, I don't think so either. Oh god. with the monkey monkey. And we're like, mm, rip monkey monkey. <laughs> I'll never forget you. But yeah, dead ass with that question that I asked because, okay, if it's possible for Faye with the training that she did and then the evolving because of the fact that she leveled up and, you know, in certain episodes and just like that and it was so many years, like, was a couple of years later and then she's able to finally transform into a human and such, will Wakaba get that? Because, I mean, Wakaba is, once again, too fucking OP. I mean, oh my god, like, <laughs> this chick. I, I mean, seriously, I can't even imagine if, like, her and freaking Joshua from The World Ends With You get into a fight together because Joshua is OP. Seriously, like I said, also, like, psh, you have Wakaba, you have freaking, yeah, we can put Futaba in that mix as well. Wakaba, Futaba, freaking Matoka, um... Nadoka from freaking Healing Good Pretty Care have all of them in a fight together. I mean, yeah, she could really kill you like that. Shouldn't have said anything, you know. Talk shit, you get hit. Or really talk shit, you get killed. Basically. But, uh, I mean, because, like, okay, yeah. Alright, now going into the situation with uh, the current reincarnated kids, so that would be 21 kids. With the, uh, I mean, because it's, number one, it's fucked up that the elves are keeping them hostage there they're not really necessarily slaves now if it was like okay here's the elves and each one of the reincarnated kids has like to work for them it's like that technically you know the kids they're, they're still hostages but they're you know they're able to move around freely but like i said my biggest thing is has any one of them ever since they've been here it include excluding the two recent ones who just came here. Everybody else who's been here forever, how long they've been here for. Has anybody ever tried like making an escape? I get the fact is that yes, most were either one was kidnapped and everybody else was possibly sold by their parents, which is one of the most fucked up things to do. But I get it. I understand like if your parents needed money at that time, of course, um, they're going to do whatever it, they have to do to get money. Because this ain't the only anime that I've seen where um, their ki their parents have sold them into something just to get, like, a quick buck at the time and such. But, yeah, it's just dead ass. Like, it's probably, that's probably, like, now the biggest thing that I want to know. If any of them have tried, and if they haven't, why haven't they? I mean, because if it is, if, like, because you, I don't know what the fuck some of these elves could be capable of, especially their sensei, because... Even with now going into the flashback of what Sophia said to their sensei is still fucked up because she's known about this. And now we're all finding out in this episode because at that time when that moment came and I read it and I finished the episode and I rewatched the episode like on my com <laughs> on my computer. This is my computer, Deja. On my TV and I was like, I wonder what the fuck she means by that. And now knowing it, it's like, okay, that makes sense. 
But the fact that she's like known about it and she hasn't said anything about it and then now she's looking highly suspicious but what, what the fuck what she whatever the fuck she's doing now like i don't know can we really trust her now because signs are pointing to no for me because i mean because this is like almost like mm, god this it just reminds you of almost like anybody like sometimes uh, 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 i can't speak <laughs> in any series where you know Everyone has their own agendas, and they're going to flip-flop between this person and that person, like fucking Joshua in The World Ends With You. I mean, if you play in the game, you know what the fuck I'm talking about with The World Ends With You for, for the situation of Joshua. If you have not played in the game, th there's so many things I would love to say, but like, I don't want to spoil it for people. But it's just like, in the end, sometimes it's better for you to just trust yourself. And maybe like a small group of teacher pe teachers, a <laughs> group of friends. But yeah, like 100%. I'm not really trustful of um, Sensei now. I think maybe once we get into next week and where we see like maybe Shun and the rest of them might go spy on her and see what she's doing. Especially if she talks to the leader of the elves or the chief. Um, and to see what the, uh, what the fuck is gonna happen in Ish, but, yeah, I, I mean, damn, like, Sophia killed him, and then now he alive, like, what the fuck? Honestly. But other than that, guys, that is where you actually be towards episode, <laughs> episode 19 of So I'm a Spider Show What. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day, join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday. I just froze for episode 20. It always fucking happens when I freeze, either during fucking Saturday or e either today. Oh my god, like, get it together, laptop. <laughs> when I'm done, like, that's it. But, <laughs> but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.